Imagine a signal traveling across billions of miles of darkness, an echo from the edge of the solar system. Now picture that signal isn't just data, it's a warning. Voyager 2, humanity's silent explorer, has been drifting through the void for over four decades. And just when we thought it had nothing left to say, it spoke. But what it said wasn't random. It wasn't noise. It was organized, patterned, and deeply unsettling. Scientists were baffled. Old sensors that were presumed dead suddenly came back online. Instruments began behaving like they were being guided, not by mission control, but by something else. The spacecraft's antenna reoriented itself without command, pointing into empty space as if answering a call we hadn't heard. And then came the transmission, the one that changed everything. What was in it? What could be so important that even a dying spacecraft would bend the laws of probability just to send it? Get ready, because this story doesn't just change how we see Voyager, it changes how we see reality itself. It all began with what seemed like a glitch. Engineers monitoring Voyager 2 noticed that several of its long deactivated instruments had suddenly come back online. No commands were sent. No firmware was updated. These systems, untouched for over 30 years, simply woke up. At first, Mission Control assumed it was a fluke. But then came something they couldn't dismiss. The spacecraft's high-gain antenna, its only method of communication, suddenly shifted its alignment. Not towards Earth, not even towards any known star. It locked onto a blank region of space with surgical precision. And then came the transmission. But this wasn't just any signal. It was dense, compressed, and eerily organized, displaying properties that defied random noise. The team ran standard decryption methods. Nothing worked. That's when they brought in artificial intelligence. The AI revealed something no human expected repeating patterns that looked shockingly similar to neural networks. Self-correcting data, recursive code. This wasn't telemetry, it was closer to a message. As the signal was dissected further, it became clear. The data stream wasn't random. Its entropy level was far too low for standard cosmic radiation or electronic interference. And that's when things got stranger. Embedded within the signal were mathematical harmonics. Ratios that mirrored Fibonacci sequences and golden ratios found in natural systems. This suggested something more than mechanical. It suggested intent. Renowned physicist James Benford from SETI stated that if there was an intelligent civilization out there, this is exactly how they would communicate, through tightly compressed, self-correcting data. Not only would it conserve energy across vast distances, but it would be immune to distortion. So the real question became, is Voyager 2 just a messenger? Or has it been turned into a receiver? And if so, who or what is on the other side? The deeper the team went, the more the line blurred between science and something almost metaphysical. The Voyager 2 signal began aligning with a theory gaining traction among theoretical physicists, informational fields embedded in space-time. According to this model, space isn't just an empty backdrop. It's a living web of data, a cosmic operating system that stores and transmits information. Just as your brain sends signals through neurons, the universe might be doing the same through plasma waves, magnetic fields, or even quantum fluctuations. And the implications? Staggering. If Voyager 2 passed through one of these fields, like a needle through a vinyl record, then perhaps it didn't just detect a message. Perhaps it triggered one. Perhaps it was acting as a probe in an informational matrix designed not to be found until now. And that's where another shockwave hit. The return of the Delta 13 sequence. A set of repeating low-frequency pulses embedded within the Voyager data. 27 recurrences in 31 days. Too clean to be coincidence. Too precise to be accidental. But no one knows what it means. Yet. As scientists dove further into this phenomenon, a chilling hypothesis emerged. What if Voyager 2 had crossed into a transition zone, a place where the fundamental rules of physics, time, and causality don't behave like they should? This isn't science fiction. Theoretical models in quantum cosmology and string theory already suggest such zones could exist, where dimensions fold, rules warp, and reality reorganizes itself. And in these liminal spaces, normal electronic behavior could be altered, not by malfunction, but by design. This would explain the activation of long dead sensors, the redirection of the antenna, the strange consistent pulses. All of it would make sense. 
if Voyager 2 wasn't just exploring space, but crossing into a region of altered ontology, a place where reality itself is different. And if that's the case, then the last transmission of Voyager 2 wasn't a glitch. It was a warning. The signal's most shocking element was not its fading strength, but a small string of numerical sequences that appeared embedded in the transmission's data stream, coordinates. But to where? Astrophysicists at NASA and SETI began analyzing them, and to their disbelief, the coordinates pointed to an uncharted sector of the Kuiper Belt, one that had never shown any signs of activity. What could possibly warrant such a precise cosmic ping from Voyager 2, a probe that should be beyond meaningful data relay? The scientific community hesitated to believe it at first, but a strange pattern emerged. The coordinates didn't just point to a location, they seemed to be a path, a route. It was as if Voyager 2 had not only seen something but was guiding us toward it. The deeper the analysts dove into the math, the clearer it became. This wasn't a random echo of aged machinery. It was a map, a warning, or perhaps an invitation. As new telescopes focused on the area highlighted by Voyager 2, anomalies started surfacing. The stars in that region exhibited unusual flickering, not typical of known variables. Distortions in the background radiation hinted at some form of gravitational disruption. Some scientists hypothesized that we were observing the aftermath of a collision between dark matter and baryonic matter. Others believed it was something more enigmatic, something artificial. Meanwhile, Voyager 2's backup systems mysteriously came online for a brief moment, transmitting one final encrypted burst before going dark again. That moment was enough for several labs across the world to capture the signal, and what they decoded sent chills down their spines. A wave signature consistent with electromagnetic propulsion, something no natural object in the solar system should produce. The kind of propulsion, used in theoretical interstellar spacecraft, Experts from the European Space Agency, working with AI decoders, decided to reanalyze the static-laden fragments of the last Voyager 2 message. This time, they fed the data through neural nets trained to find hidden patterns in chaos. What they found was no accident. Hidden in the noise was a spectrograph signature of an object, a silhouette with angles too perfect, too geometrically consistent to be natural. Overlaying that image with the projected path Voyager 2 had been on, a terrifying hypothesis emerged. The probe had encountered an artificial construct. Whether it was a derelict spacecraft, a station, or something else entirely, no one knew. But the image was enough. The world was no longer staring into the void of deep space. It was now staring at something staring back. Then, silence. No more transmissions. No more surges. Voyager 2 had gone dark, possibly forever. Yet astronomers began detecting faint pulses coming from the same region. At first, they were dismissed as quasars or gamma-ray background. But the intervals were too precise, too deliberate. They pulsed in sets of three, three seconds apart, repeating every 72 hours. Scientists debated whether this was simply cosmic noise or the beginning of a reply. But one thing was undeniable. Voyager 2 had led us to something. Whether it was ancient or active, natural or artificial, benign or terrifying, remained to be seen. And now, the world waited. As Voyager 2's final transmission continued to stir debate, attention shifted toward its twin, Voyager 1. Though it had long been silent and drifting in a different direction, analysts began reprocessing its old data with the same AI techniques used on Voyager 2. What they found was chilling. Years ago, Voyager 1 had also detected something, an anomaly it couldn't interpret with 20th century instruments. A sharp deviation in its magnetic sensor readings, paired with a spike in deep space radiation, was buried in overlooked logs. At the time, it was dismissed as noise. But through modern AI filtering, the data revealed the presence of a similar electromagnetic signature, nearly identical to the one Voyager 2 had just sent. Two probes, two decades apart. One signal. The scientific world reeled. Had we ignored a cosmic warning the first time? Had the mystery been echoing across space for longer than we realized? Whatever it was, it now had a pattern, a behavior. And we were finally starting to connect the dots. With both Voyager probes pointing toward the same unexplainable energy signature, a global coalition of astronomers proposed a bold step. 
to direct the James Webb Space Telescope and other high-powered arrays toward the coordinates. If something was there, we needed a closer look, now more than ever. As Webb's instruments locked onto the region, a deep silence fell across the control rooms. Then, slowly, data began streaming in, distorted light, anomalous lensing, and most notably, a shadow. A massive structure, blacker than space itself, with no identifiable origin. No emissions, no movement, but definitely not natural. Was it a beacon, a vessel, a remnant of something far older than our solar system? The possibilities ignited every corner of scientific imagination and fear. Because whatever Voyager 2 saw, it hadn't just warned us. It had shown us that we were not alone, and perhaps never had been. So here we are, decades after the launch of two humble space probes, standing on the edge of a truth that may redefine everything we thought we knew about the universe. Voyager 2 didn't just send its last words into the void. It screamed through the silence of space with data that humanity was finally advanced enough to hear. And now, with Voyager 1's forgotten echoes aligning in terrifying harmony, a question remains. Were these transmissions part of a cosmic pattern? Or the final warning of something that's already on its way? The discovery isn't just scientific, it's existential. We've always looked out to the stars, wondering if someone or something was looking back. But maybe the truth is darker. Maybe something has always been out there, watching, waiting, or approaching. And as our most powerful tools like the James Webb Telescope begin to peer deeper into this growing mystery, one thing becomes painfully clear. What Voyager 2 detected wasn't random. It was deliberate. It was intelligent. And it was never meant to go unnoticed. Now the world watches, breath held, as science and fear collide. The last transmission from Voyager 2 may have come too late. But perhaps, just perhaps, it's the wake-up call humanity needed. Because the message is no longer drifting in the darkness. It's at our doorstep.